This is a very big day, especially for Charlie, because yep. it's her that's paying for it. But we are at Cupra in Southampton because Charlie is getting a brand new electric car. Now, we're gonna find out what it is. So if you wanna guess, put down in the comments now and while you're there, like and subscribe. Let's, let's go on, go, and get go it. on, you've been excited for ages. Let's go and get it. It's under the cover. Uh, we'll do a nice little surprise reveal for everyone. It is very exciting. Um, little, little, little sneak. No, 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 no sneak peeks. Okay, brand new shiny electric car, Charlie. You ready? Yeah. Do we do it one quick? Yeah, go on. Ready? Nice and quick. Whoa. So nice. <laughs> and it's all yours. It's amazing. So what car is it? Let everyone know. Cupra Born. The Cupra Born. Look at it, it's fancy. Let's have a look inside. Okay. So this is all yours and mine. No, Don't forget it's mine. mine. It is actually amazing. I need to remember to not use that foot though. We don't want left foot braking because you'll go through the windscreen. So once it's at home still plugged in, you can turn the heater seats on, turn the aircon on, and it will start warming up. It's got preconditioning. And you scroll down and you can do all your like ascending sat nav destinations to the car. So by the time you get into the car, it's all set up ready and warm and ready to go. And you've got sat nav, you just double tap, and it comes up full screen. Okay. And you press destinations, put in the postcode, the street name, whatever the Salisbury and it will come up. Radio, I'm guessing you're not a mellow magic. No. no. What type of music do you want? I'll to have listen? radio too on most of the time. You can tap, or you can just slide. Okay, yeah. Alright, there's also the captive buttons on here, and they're captive buttons, so you scroll with them. Most people okay. think they're touch buttons, and they don't work. But you, so scroll you scroll with them, and you feel okay. them vibrate. And the same with your heating. This is my side, this yeah. is your side. Again, you can tap if you want to. And because it's okay. got heated seats, you can either tap at the top there and turn them on, or you can double tap with two fingers and it turns them on, okay. and then down the different settings until they're off. Okay. All right. All your climate controls and everything's at the top, so you just and you just tap where you want your air conditioning, or heat, or whatever it is, okay. and your fan speed, and all your different windscreen things and that as well, and you've got your heated steering wheel. Yep. You can talk to it as well, I'll tell you the commands in a second, but like, warm my hands, warm the steering wheel, warm my seat, learns your voice and turns the heat, um, heat seats and that on. Your different drive modes, so, range extender and things like that. Because it's an e-boost, you press that button, it goes straight to Cupra, which is your more powerful okay. boost button. You'd like. Um, lots to pick from. Purple. I'll change it, this one to purple as well. There's one in the middle here. That's purple as well. Okay. All right. There you go. And then the settings, you can set your different um, bits of the car. So mirrors so I've set them so that when you lock the car the mirrors fold in yeah you can also when you go into reverse the mirrors tilt down a little bit so you can see the curb um, keyless essential will work so you just walk up to it pull the handle and it unlocks itself yeah and then like the windows just put them on convenience so with convenience opening what you can do is you press and hold the key and all the windows go down okay. press and hold the lock all the windows go up yeah. So if you've locked the car and you're walking away from it and one of the driver's windows down or something, you just press and hold it and it puts all the windows up. Okay. All right. Hit resume. That's to turn your speed up or down. Mm -hmm. And then in between your cruise control and speed limiter. So it's a limiter so you can limit your speed or your cruise control where you keep it constant speed. Okay. All right. Yeah. And these are all your stereo controls. So your volume between your radio stations, your voice controls, so you can say, warm my feet. And then this is your gear lever over here. So keep your foot on the brake a second. Yeah. That's D, which is drive. Yeah. B's brake regenerative, you can swap between the two whenever you're driving. Okay. R is reverse. That's and you've got your lights. reversing camera. Automatic? Yep. yep. And you park and brakes. So when you get to wherever you're going, yep. press that. 
everything will stay on until you lift your bum off the seat and it'll go boom boom and turn yourself off. The plan is you are going to drive home because yeah. I've got to drive my van home. You have a little play. I'll see you when we get home and then we'll go for a drive together, okay? okay. Yeah. And we might have to go to my mum's. Just so we can see her reaction to you driving in it? Yeah, we'll drive fast, quickly, as she's a wimp and doesn't like going fast in cars. Yeah. All right, go and enjoy. See you at home. Uh, can I just say something really cool? Yeah. Okay, close the door. You won't be able to see this, but everyone else will. Oh my god. It's got a Cupra it's light when you open and close the door. It's going to get a little bit soppy now before I drive home as well in my not so brand new van. Charlie has worked her backside off to deserve and earn this amazing new shiny electric car so i'm so proud of her this is the first thing that she's had is you know brand new so hopefully she's gonna really really love it thanks to cupra as well if you haven't already hit that like subscribe button um let's go meet her at home so how does it feel driving the cupra born it's really nice it's nice and quiet isn't it it's definitely gonna take some getting used to though it accelerates a little bit quicker than the Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm busy, as I'm the passenger and I'm quite techy, I'm busy trying to play with all the, uh, all the Touch bits. Touch everything. Touching everything as much as I can. Um, I just like touching buttons. Like I like that child. everything's just like touch though. Yeah, so this brings up a question The volume's though. interesting. I think that will take... I'll show you that in a second, but... Um, that brings up an interesting topic though. How safe is having a big screen in the middle of your car if you're looking at that trying to change stuff, if you haven't got physical buttons to press? Uh, that's an interesting one, but let me show you this, how you change the temperature and the volume. To change the volume, it's not actual press buttons, it's swiping. And as you can see, my side is going down, and it's, I think you'll be fine when you get used to it, the volume is in the middle here, and you go up, and you go down. But I think it's getting used to it, that is the main thing. Right, it's my turn to drive, and we have mother, <laughs> mum in the car. You don't, like, you don't like driving fast, do you? No. And I promise I won't. Okay, I promise. So we're going to see the reaction. You're literally the third person in this car, fourth as well. Stepdad Sean here, uh, who you like cars, don't you? I don't mind them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's give it a go. I'm going to put it in though. Cupra mode, which is the fast mode. Okay. You ready? I've got to go into. I've got to go into the right mode first to drive. Ready? Oh! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> All right. We'll go. We're gonna. That was horrible. We're gonna get out of here, and then we're gonna get to a straight bit okay no we'll test out the naught to 60. no let me out no it's fine it's fine i'm i'm a good driver no. i promise no this look this is as fast as it goes why don't you just go around the town I'm no i'm not going around the town where are you going then huh where are you going? The we'll find a straight bit go up to the roundabout just go up there yeah all right we'll go up to the roundabout and come back what okay roundabout? i can't i can't specify because then they'll know whereabouts you live no i don't mind okay the only problem with this is, is that because it's electric, you feel like you're going quicker mm. than you, yeah. you know, without realising it. You're going quicker than, than you realise. Um, so it... Have you done that? No, I'm not going that way. I'll go up to the roundabout and back, okay? Um, but you... I'm going quite slow at the moment. Just for you, because I'm nice. I think we're still in Cupra mode, so we're in the fast mode, okay? Are you going to use the button? I've used the button. I've just set it to Cupra mode. Mm. Okay, this is nice and easy at the moment, man. Nice and easy. Just a cool 30, 30 miles that's an hour. That's all you need to go, please. Yeah, that's all I'm going to go. Up 30 there. miles an hour. That's all I'm going to go, I promise. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything that you don't like. Okay. Please don't. I, I, I wouldn't do anything you don't like. I, that's, I'm not that type of person. You are though. No, I'm not. I am not that type of person. <laughs> are How you sure? could you accuse me no, of such don't. things? I can't believe you think I would do such a thing. 
Look, I can take my foot off and it slows down on its own. Regenerative braking. Okay, which way should we go? Okay. Oh, there's a Tesla. I think I prefer my my Bourne. So that's Charlie's Bourne. Yeah, my car, right, not your ready? car. Ready? 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 Right, we're seven. No. No! This isn't that fast. Stop it, Robert! Right, let me out. <laughs> I'm only going 55! Let me out. I'm only I'll going 50! I'm only going 50! Let me out! I'm going the speed limit! I'm only going the speed limit. I'm going under the speed limit. That's not that bad, is it? I'm under the speed just limit, just for you. So we've just had our first charge. All right, we didn't charge for very long, but we wanted to test out. We pulled up to Sainsbury's, which has a free charger. Amazing, 22 kilowatts. Um, testing it out, fairly straightforward. However, we are stumped, absolutely stumped on how to open the front bonnet. Just so to have a look. stumped that I'm reading the manual. <laughs> and, and we still can't find it. That's the problem. Now, um, we're going to go home and then in a few days time, Charlie's working all week, but she basically needs to fix her old Fiesta before she can sell it. So she's going to take the Fiesta to work. I'm going to have a little bit of a play um, with the Cupra. I'm going to show you when it's light. I'm going to show you some cool stuff about it. Well, I'm back during the light and it is cold, by the way. I've got my uh, thermals on and my hat. We've parked up back at Sainsbury's supermarket because the charging is free. Amazing. Now it is only 11 kilowatts it's charging at, but it needs to be done because Charlie is off to London uh, tomorrow. So let's get free juice. Now, I want to tell you some of the cool bits about this car. First of all, as you saw right at the start, how cool is it? For start, it just looks with all the, all the bronzy copper, um, all the accents with the with the gray just stands out and pops it looks aggressive it looks like a hot hatch which you know some people would say is a hot hatch some wouldn't but it definitely goes like shit off a shovel for sure now some of the cool features about this for stars it can park itself i tested that out yesterday um, outside of home it can park itself not that i'll ever need it because i can park uh, but charlie may want to use it now, some other cool things, we saw the lighting, which is by the door, which is completely pointless, but really cool. Uh, <laughs> um, what else can it do? Windows go, it's got big 19 inch wheels. The only problem with these is, you gotta try not to hit the curb, because that is um, not a great idea, uh, because those alloys will get completely scuffed up. Uh, now, one really good thing as well, is that in here, in the back, because it's not got a drivetrain, uh, it is completely flat in the bottom here. It's completely flat, which is brilliant. You don't have to have people with their legs up like this. Nice, nice bucket style seats, racing style seats. 0 to 60 in 6.6, .6 because we got the e-boost version. Uh, the detailing, Throughout, you've got this sort of embossed style. Uh, decent screen. The infotainment system could be better. It's a little bit basic. The app is a little bit basic, but um, it's made by basically in the same factory as VW ID3, and there's a lot of talk about them improving the quality. And because it's all it's all electrics, it's all computers, it's things that they can improve on uh, for sure. Wireless charging in here. The sound system is okay. Um, I didn't I couldn't justify paying for a, a better sound system. I don't think that makes much sense. When we look at the boot, it's a decent size. Not bad at all. It'll definitely be able to fit the dog crate in and there's the space for the charger. Now I think one of the coolest features is the augmented display on the window. Now that is augmented right there. Uh, it shows you directions, it shows you speed, it shows you cars in front, it shows you if you're drifting off. It is such a cool feature. There's a lot of these things in this car that 
you don't really realize you need. The augmented uh, display on the glass is an awesome, awesome addition. It really, really is because it keeps your eyes on the road rather than looking at the infotainment system right next to you. But there's things like the light when you open the door at night time. It's completely pointless, but really, really cool. Um, and I just think with this car, the attention to detail, the build quality is really, really good. Now, I test drove a Tesla before I test drove this car, and the Teslas are, what, £50,000 plus for a Model 3? And it is the most basic thing. Now, I know it drives very, very quick. It's really fun to drive. But all you've got is a screen in the middle, and that's it. It doesn't feel like it's cost £50,000 plus. Whereas this... This is uh, a roughly £38,000. Sounds like a lot. I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. But this looks cool. You know, from the outside, it, it, it looks like it's edgy. It looks aggressive. It looks like a hot hatch. Um, and then inside, where you've got the detail, the embossed um, on the material, uh, you've got everything, you know, everything is it's got the copper or the bronze, whatever you call it, details. You know, it's just more exciting and more fun and i think it looks like it's it it looks like it's worth what we've paid for it oh i forgot to mention it's got heated seats and a heated steering wheel as standard uh not like other cars where you have to pay even more just for those really useful things once again i've never had a car like this and you appreciate yeah, heated seats and, and heat and steering wheel is very good when the weather is turning like this. So let's talk about money. We're always open and honest. Now, this car value is about £38,000, which is a lot of money. It really is a lot of money for a, for a car. Um, however, we've just finished paying off Charlie's Ford Fiesta, which what a horrible car um and so charlie before we have kids charlie really wanted a sporty car and originally we thought well let's go maybe you know an audi tt or something along those lines that you know is good it's fun second hand one you know ten thousand pound ish and then we got the idea uh because you know we got solar panels we're going green sort of um Let's have a look at electric. So obviously test drove the, the Tesla, then test drove this. And this car, as soon as Charlie test drove this, she also test drove Tesla, um, she just fell in love. And before, well, after we had test drove this Cooper Born, it was, Charlie said, okay, we'll think about this. We're not going to purchase this today. We'll think about it. As soon as we looked at the figures, we thought, actually, it's not that bad. So... We are on a PCP finance, which basically means we're paying for over the depreciation of it over four years. 15,000 miles a year maximum, which is absolutely fine. We shouldn't do more than that. And we are paying just over £500 a month for this car. After four years, there'll be a balloon payment of £16,000 if we want to keep the car. Um, so PCP gives us the 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 flexibility after four years we can give it back after four years we can trade it in for another model or after four years we can purchase it outright or we can set up a new finance deal to pay that last sixteen thousand pound off who knows it gives us the flexibility but when people might say well 500 pound a month is a lot of money charlie and her fiesta she spends over 200 pound a month just on petrol so what you got to think is, I can charge this either for free at places like this, um, cheap with my solar panels, or with our currently current energy provider, uh, Octopus Energy, we can get 10 p a kilowatt for six hours a night. Well, that will basically cost us. You'd normally charge up to about 80%. But look, if we were to fill up fill up the fill up the the battery it would cost us about £5.80 because it's a 58 kilowatt battery. It's one of the smaller ones rather than the 77. So even charging it up, £5.80, I would say if it does a 240 estimated miles on paper, temperature and weather and everything changes that. But if you said 
compared to a full tank of petrol or diesel, which costs 80 to 100 pound, this for the same mileage would cost about 10 pound ish. So, you know, we are doing better there. So really we are spending what, 300 pound a month on a brand new car. We were spending 200 pound a month on the Fiesta, which was 2014 and, and not that nice to drive. So, you know, Charlie's doing really well with work. She's she's working her backside off with with um, being the manager of a store, which she's gone up and up and up, done really well. So she really deserves it. Um, I'm so proud of her for what she's achieving. And this just is a sort of a reward that she can give herself. So really, really happy. Now, if you've got any questions about this car, please do uh, put them in the comments. Happy to answer them. What is your favorite thing about this car? Is it the fact that it can self park? Um, is it the the style of it, the kind of the edginess, the aggressive look of it, which I think it's an aggressive, you may not. Um, is it just the simple fact that it's electric and that we never have to go to a petrol station ever again? Do you know what this also made me realize? Being, having the petrol station behind, um, having to fill up is, I don't really want to do that. I can just get home, plug it in, leave it overnight, ready for the morning. Um, but as we live right next to a petrol station and you get the boy racers at midnight, you know, going in and then revving out, you know, oh my God, it makes me realize driving in quiet is so nice. Not having to listen to the engine noise. Oh my God, it reminds me of during lockdown when there was literally next to no cars on the road and it was just peace and quiet, no revving of engines, no revving of motorbikes, it is bliss. This is, um, I'm really happy with this purchase. Yes, there's things that could be better about it like the infotainment system, the silly capacitive, the slidey touch buttons rather than physical buttons, but you'll get used to it. I'm so happy we made this. It's bringing fun back to driving for me because I am don't enjoy driving. I've got a van. I've had a van for like the last, well, eight years. That's not fun. So this really will bring the fun back to driving. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We've got more fun vlogs coming up. So we'll see you in the next one.